हेलो मैं सुब डॉक्टर दिनेश एन पाटिल वेलकम टू माय चैनल डिजिटल फॉरेंसिक्स फॉर बिगिनर्स इन दिस वीडियो विच इज टाइटल एज वोलेटिलिटी कमांड्स द वेरियस कमांड्स विच आर अवेलेबल एज पार्ट ऑफ द वोलेटिलिटी टूल्स इन आर्डर टू एक्सट्रैक्ट द फॉरेंसिक इंपॉर्टेंट इंफॉर्मेशन फ्रॉम द डम्प वोलेटाइल मेमरी आर डिस्कस सो टू बिगिन विथ वील डिस्कस अबाउट द वोलेटिलिटी टूल Volatility is an open source memory forensic framework for incident response and malware analysis. So volatility generally it requires the dumped volatile memory. So in order to analyze the and extract the forensic important information from the particular dumped volatile memory the volatility supports various commands. and by using those particular commands the the important information that is forensic important information from the dump volatile memory are extracted it is a command line memory analysis tool that means the the commands uh, that means whatever the operation that is being performed in order to extract the forensic important information from the dump volatile memory uh, that particular action is performed on the command line so the particular volatility tool is written in the python and it is it can be installed on the windows operating system linux and the mac os x operating system so in this particular video i have performed the the demonstration of the various commands on the ubuntu operating system so ubuntu is a desktop version of the linux operating system so i have installed the volatility tool on the particular ubuntu operating system and demonstrated the various the commands which are used in the which are available as part of the volatility tools and their forensic important importance is also discussed so in order to demonstrate the the various commands which are used or which are available as part of the volatility i have used uh, i have dumped the windows 7 base computer system volatile memory and that i have copied on the home directory of the ubuntu operating system so the name of that particular file which i have dumped or uh, that means say uh, in order to dump that particular volatile memory Uh, of the windows 7 based computer system i have used the command dump it and the particular name of the particular file of the dump volatile memory is try1.raw so the format of the the particular uh, dump it and that means the, the volatile memory image that is dumped by the dump it tool is having the extension raw r a w so as you can see in that by using the dir command at the terminal of the ubuntu i have shown you uh, the what are the various particular uh, the files which are available as part of the home, home directory and the try1 dot raw i have copied at the home directory now in order to see the the memory image and its information so we have to use the command image info and to this particular image image info command we have to give the name of the particular file so in this case the name of the file is try1.raw so the the whole command is like volatility space image info hyphen f try1.raw so hyphen f is for the the name of the file so we can see uh, that means volatility is now working so it will give the details of the profiles of that particular uh, the dump volatile memory image so we can see the profiles like uh, various profiles that are available uh like windows in 7 sp1 x86 then windows 7 sp0 x86 and windows 7 sp1 x86 
So one of these uh, profile we have to make use in order to work with the the drive and hot draw. So in, in order to extract the the required information from the drive one dot draw dump to letter in the image. So the location of the particular file that is drive one draw draw is also shown in as part of the result of this image info command. So that is available in the home directory. Under that we are having a subdirectory Dinesh and under that drive one dot draw file is available. And now uh, there is another command that is a ps list. So by using this particular command that is ps list, we can able we can see whatever the process which we are running at the time time of the dump of the volatile memory in the volatile memory. So the command the entire command that what we have to give is volatility ps space space ps list minus that is hyphen f try one dot raw. So this particular command is going to give the list of all the process which we are running at the time of the dumping of the volatile memory. And also along with that we have to give the profile. So the profile of the particular volatile memory image that is try one dot raw. So it is taken as win 7 sp one x 6 So on clicking this particular command we will be able to see the list of the all process and their process ID along with the other details like the time uh, at which the particular process was running. So that also we can get from this particular command that is PS list. So the various particular commands are sorry various process and their process IDs also we can see by using this particular command work with the volatile memory so in order to extract the process related information is ps3 so by using the ps3 the list of the process can be represented in a tree structure form so that means visual representation in a tree form we can get about the running process by using the ps3 command so just we have to do updation to the earlier command that was so you can see that the list of the process so they are displayed in a tree form so that means if we are having a child parent process and what are the child process under that particular process so that the those representation we can get by using the ps3 command then another command in order to extract the the DLLs which were being used or which were been mapped into the volatile memory so that we can get by using the DLL list command so the DLL list command gives the information about all the DLLs which were loaded in the volatile memory at the time of the dumping of the volatile memory so that we can get by using the DLL list command So on clicking this the entire command that is volatility space dll list uh, hyphen yup try one dot raw and the profile name so we can get the details about a particular command so for a particular process uh, also we can get the the details of the the dlls which were required for a particular running process so for that purpose we have to give the the process ID of that particular running process of the particular process which are running at the time of the uh, dumping of the volatile memory. So by giving the process ID of the particular process, we can also get the DLL which were required by a particular running process. Now in this uh, result, we are able to see all the, the particular process and their uh, the DLS that were being used by those particular process. So for this, uh, in this uh, on the screen, you can see that conhost.exe it requires the way, whatever the DLS that have been used by that particular process are shown in the output. So the process ID is uh, for the conhost.exe is three six four eight. 
So by making use of these three six, uh, the process ID of a particular process, we can uh, get the the particular uh, that means the TLS which have been used by a particular process only. So just we have to make a modification to the earlier command. So at the end of the profile, we have to give the command that means we have to add to this command hyphen p that is for the process id and the id of the particular process that is let's say for the example 3648 which is the process id for the convos.exe so on clicking this we'll get the, the only the dls which have been used by the convos.exe process Now we can uh, also get whatever the handles that have been open uh, for a particular processes which are running in the uh, which were running at the time of the dumping of the volatile memory. And for that purpose, the handles command is being provided. The handles command uh, gives the, the handles which are open for a running processes. So we can get for a particular running process their handles also. So for that purpose, we have to specify the process ID of the particular running process. So the process ID, how we can get by using the commands, the earlier command that we have seen like a PS list. So this particular PS list command gives the process ID for all the processes which we are running at the time of the dumping of the volatile memory. So now in this command, we are, we are, we want to see what are the handles that have been opened for a particular process with the ID 3648. So also we can see uh, the what are the, uh, the handles which are open for all the running process. So in this, uh, in the result we can get uh, the what are the handles that have been open for all the running process. So that is shown in this result. Same way we can get uh, the handles which are open for a particular process only. So just now we have to use the handles command and, uh, and we have to specify the process ID. So that particular process ID is a converse.executable file that is a 3648 is the process ID for the converse.exe. So now we'll be able to see the handles which are open for that particular process only. Like here, so the the handles like files that that is file object that is open, the key objects, and uh, others like event directory. So whatever that have been open for those particular uh, for the particular converse.exe process are seen in this particular uh, particular output another thing that we can get uh, by using this uh, volatility tool is about the security identifier so for a particular uh, whatever the the security identifiers which are available for a particular process so that we can get by using the get sids command 
so the get sid command sids command it gives the the security identifiers associated with a particular running process so in general also we can get the security identifier for all the running process if you don't specify the the process id for a, in that command so like uh, in the the commands uh, so we are able to see the various security identifier for the converse.exe process now we can see uh, by deleting that particular uh, the process id we can get the security identifiers for all the running processes in the volatile memory at the time of the dumping of volatile memory so you can see for various running processes like chrome.exe uh, then we are having dump it.exe so their security identifiers they are uh, we are obtained by using the get sids command Uh, then we can get the, the memory map so whatever the the pages which have been mapped uh, in the volatile memory associated with the running process so that we can get by using the command mem map so the mem map so it gives the the address where a particular whatever the the pages which are associated with the running process so their uh, details we can get by using the mam map command so here you can see that whatever the pages which are associated with the running process uh, so we are able to see where they have been mapped in the volatile memory so 0x1000 in the middle it indicates the size of each page so the dump volatile memory image that are, that is being analyzed here it is a 32-bit operating system, Windows 7 32-bit operating system. So whenever it is a 32-bit uh, operating system, the size of each page is always is going to be 4 kilobytes. So here we can see where the particular pages which have been mapped in the volatile memory. So their physical address also we can see in the I'm using this mem map command. Then uh, whatever the the VAT structure that have been created for a running process, so that information that is VAT related information, we can get by using the VAT info command. So VAT stands for the virtual address descriptor. So whatever the, the pages which have been mapped in the volatile memory, so what is, uh, that means for a particular uh, pages, what is the, that means for a particular, uh, what are the, pro, the processes, or what are the files which are associated with a running process. So those files are going to be mapped in the volatile memory. So those files are called as a memory map file. So these memory map files, whatever the range of the address that have been occupied by those particular memory map file, so that details we can get by using the virtual address descriptor. So for every uh, particular uh, memory map file, there is going to be a virtual address descriptor and it specifies the range of the memory addresses for the, the particular um, a file which have been required for a running process so for this particular process that is converse.exe these are the various uh, files which are required like uh, one of the file is gdi32.dll 
so this particular file it is being mapped its starting address and ending address are shown okay so that we can get from this particular command bad info also what kind of protection is provided like a page underscore execute underscore write copy so that also we can get and how many number of uh, the page frame number references which have been there so that also we can get so so that details uh, that means many details about a particular file which are required for a particular running process so that details and that means a particular file where it is being mapped in the volatile memory so that details we can get by the vat info because for a particular uh, vat structure is going to be created for all the files which are being memory mapped for a running process same way by using the VAT tree we can get the information about all the VAT associated with a particular running process in a tree structure by using the VAT tree command so the VAT tree command gives the details about all the the VATs which are associated with a running process in a tree structure so by clicking on this entire command we can get the the particular VAT uh, for a particular process ID 3648 in this kind of a structure form in a hierarchical form so that what we can get by using the battery command so and there mainly uh, it is about the range of the addresses which have been occupied now another thing that we can get was using the driver scan command what are the driver object which have been open in the volatile memory so that uh, the details about those driver object we can get by using the driver scan command so in this case we are not required to specify the the process id because in general we wanted to know about all the driver object which have been there available in the volatile memory in the dump volatile memory we can say so you can see the the list of the 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 drivers which are driver object which are available in the volatile memory so like various uh, drivers are available okay like uh, those names are specified and their path where actually they are available okay so from where they have been downloaded loaded in the volatile memory then uh, we can get the the list of the file objects which are available or which have been mapped in the volatile memory by using the file scan command so the file scan command give the list of all the file objects which have been loaded or which have been mapped in the volatile memory in the dump volatile memory So this uh, command, file scan command, will give the list of all the the file objects along with the permissions, like read, write. So that kind of permission which can be available for a particular file. So along with this, you can get the permission also. So for a particular file objects, what are the permissions are available? So that details also we can get using the file scan command then there is another command that is called as a net scan command so by using the net scan command we can get the the network artifacts facts that means suppose a particular user you have access the network so that details is also going to be in the volatile memory so certainly this is uh, that means if a particular user have access the network services that means internet facility to which particular IP address it was doing the communication so that details also we can get by using the net scan command so again we are not required to specify the process ID for this net scan command because in general we wanted to know about the all the the details about the the particular network artifacts so as you can see the result uh, in the result we can get uh, that means 
what kind of protocols which being used like TCP, UDP and then the IP addresses. So one of the IP address uh, so from this one we can see that the various IP address are available of the, the local system also of the remote system. So like uh, listening close wait so so a particular uh, location like uh, 121.244.190.231 so the particular uh, this client system was connecting was already connected with that particular IP address some communication was going on now the uh, the closing of that particular connection is shown there the close by in the close underscore wait so the details about the communication which have been there so we can get access another uh, thing that we can do uh, about the hives registry hives they are that have been loaded in the volatile memory so that we can access by using the hive scan command so registry hives are made up of number of edge bins so there the physical address where they have been loaded so that we can get was in the hive scan command uh, the hive list command also gives the list of the hives which have been loaded in the uh, volatile memory so you can see the physical address and the virtual address of a particular registry hives so like the security SAM, anti-user dot that, then system, hardware, PCD, software, default. So these are the various registry hives and their physical address and the virtual address are shown by using the hive list command. Now we will see the use of the print key command which is being used in order to list out all the 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 registry key related information which have been loaded in the volatile memory so by using the print key command we can list out the the registry key and their values so here for the example like uh, we can see that the registry name is uh, something key name is something cmi create hive so that is part of the registry uh, 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 that is a uh, registry have that is default and uh, updated time the, uh, the of that particular registry key and under what are the sub keys which are available as part of that key so that also we can get and their values so that what we can get was in the the print key command so apart from that we can specify a particular key name and that particular key name will give the details about the the particular key if it is loaded in the volatile memory so this value we can get by using the print key command so for that purpose we have to use the hyphen k and the name of the particular registry key so if that particular registry key is loaded in the volatile memory then the print key command will search for the the presence of that particular key and it will extract the the details such as the the value of that particular registry key along with the name so that will be done by using the volatile or uh, the print key command so these are some of the the important commands which i have discussed uh, of the volatility so so these are the various commands that i have discussed as part of this particular video so these volatility commands can, are useful in extracting the the forensic important information from the dump volatile memory so these are uh, that means this particular important information can be of valuable to the forensic investigator in order to convict a particular criminal so thanks for watching this particular video if you like this particular video please click on the subscribe subscriber button to get the notification for future videos on the digital forensics. Thank you.